how do you use Trello for real estate? Well, today I'm gonna to talk to you as an agent, a top producing agent that has used Trello for well over six years. I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can use Trello to make your business more effective. Hi, my name is Melody Wilson. I'm the Canadian tech savvy agent and I wanted to share with you how we use Trello for our business so that you can implement Trello into your own business. Now, a really simple way, Trello is a Kanban style where basically just imagine post-it notes that you have, maybe you write post-it notes notes all over the place and have them on your computer, have them in your car. Just imagine all your post-it notes in one space in the cloud, accessible anywhere all the time from your phone, from your computer, really anywhere that has internet. And that is how we started using it. Now simply I'm going to show you in this video how to use it as a general overview. Please check out my other videos that will talk about how to use it specifically for buyers and how to use it specifically for selling and listings and organizing your workflow that way. Today we're just going to talk about general use as an agent, how you can use Trello. So we're going to talk to you about your daily activities, your goals, your tracking, your activity for things that come into your brain for projects and ideas, maybe clients are calling you. How do you track everything? How do you keep everything organized? And why would you use Trello? So just to give you a little bit of background, we have sold well over 500 homes in the last 13 years and I've used Trello to keep myself organized, to keep myself sane. And also, you know what? Sometimes you write a little note on a piece of paper, I'm still guilty of this, and I realize it's on a piece of paper in the office somewhere and I am at a client's house or I am somewhere where I need that information. If there's no one in my office to look up that information for me, I'm kind of hooped. So this is why Trello is so important in keeping everything on track. So I'm gonna give you a preview of my Trello. You'll see here that I have important links, ongoing projects or tasks, client servicing, to do today, doing and done are the key things on a Kanban board, are the three key things, and to do to tomorrow. To do is kind of something for the future that is not for tomorrow, not rush. I have goals, I have quick reference, uh, additional terms on deals, reference, ideas, lead source, video strategy, infill areas, things that are important to me. So each of these things are called lists. All the items that you see here in big lists, they're called lists. So you can click easily, just add another list. Now, all the cards you see inside here, they're just cards. You click add card and it's very simple to add a title for the card. You know, we're doing right now, you can click and drag these items very easily. So when I'm done, I can click it into done. When you click on the actual card itself, you can see you can add a description, you can have a checklist, you can put labels, you can have your team members join so you can communicate with them, you can tag them. So for example, let me just show you. We just recorded an iGUIDE video for one of our listings. I have put in the team members that need to know about this and I tag them when I'm completed. They will then get notified on their notifications and this bubble right here, you'll see all your notifications. This is a great way to keep everyone in the loop on workflow items with your assistants and with your team so that you're not blowing up your phone and also not losing track of what is going on. Now, if you take a look at things like check-in, I have things that I check in with my assistant on a regular basis, on a weekly basis and monthly. We can also just have little notes here to talk to each other about items. Now, when I think about what I'm gonna do for the day, I'll put everything in here. Once I start working on them, I'll drag them over to doing and done. Now, this is the same thing you can have for your assistants to do so that you can see what is my assistant working on right now, and you click on their board and you can see here's the things they're gonna do, here's what they're gonna be doing, and then here is what's done. And what is she working on tomorrow? You can see that we have labels and you can click tags. You can add a lot of things. There's a lot of power-ups and automations where things can automatically pop up. Today we're just doing a general overview. But it's important to have this information, as you can imagine, to keep yourself organized. And I have important things that I want to have links. I want to be able to send links out to my clients. I'm able to just copy and paste and send this link right away. It's very easy access on your phone as well. On the computer, it's easy. On the phone, it's just as easy. They're both the same. It's easy to scroll back and forth. Um, under to do tomorrow, under to do, if you want to make a due date, you can click due date, edit dates. And I can say, I wanna have this done by tomorrow or Wednesday. And then you click save. You can change the time by just clicking on this and putting 9 p.m. 
And you can also set a due date reminder as well. You can have it on the time of, you can have it come earlier and just click save. Now you'll see there's a date associated. So now when I see this, I see that this is due on April 20th. If I'm filming and I want to do something, you can see here, we have a checklist, we have notes and places that, of places to film. Um, you can take a look at the things I want to do. And once you're done everything, you can click this dot here and you can click archive all cards in this list. This way, at the end of each day, it's all cleared off and you start from scratch and you're able to um, start a new day all fresh from scratch. Now, if you're looking for the things that you had and done, you can search in the search bar and you can still actually find things in your search, in your cards, as long as you don't delete them. So it's really easy to still find things.